everyone, Soltran here from Bearded Geek Gaming and I'm here today to show you how to do a very simple static overlay for your Twitch stream. Now guys, I am no pro myself in this, I learned how to do this just by fooling around with Photoshop, but the more time you spend on it, the more time you play with it, the better results you will have. Now, before we get started, if you have any questions or if you need any help with your stream, please join our Discord or jump on my stream when I'm live and we will try to help you. I will leave the link below for both of these and you can join whenever you want. Now, let's get started. Okay guys, here we are in Photoshop. Now, if you never worked with Photoshop before, uh, I'm going to do this step by step for you to understand exactly what we're doing. The first thing you want to do is go to Create New. Now the resolution I'm working with is 1920 by 1080 as you can see and the reason I'm doing this is because this is the resolution I'm streaming at and it's just easier to put everything in OBS when it's ready. Press create. First thing here we're going to go on the left to the rectangle tool here and drag and drop a rectangle. Now up here on fill you're gonna go with none and on stroke you choose the color you want your overlay to be i'm just going to go for a purple in here right next to stroke we have the thickness of the lines of the rectangle so i'm going to go for this one for about an 18. go back to the rectangle tool and i am going to do a second rectangle on top of the one we have already and in a few moments you will see why I'm doing this. Now for this second rectangle, the fill, it's again none. The stroke, we're gonna change the color, we're gonna make it black for the purpose of the video, just because you, I want you to see exactly what we're working with, guys. Now for the size of the second rectangle, I'm going to go for about a four in here and this already looks better now if you want to uh, change any colors or if you want to add any shadows to your um, overlay what you can do is go to rectangle one in here right click on it and go to blending options as you can see you have bevel you have contour stroke inner shadow inner glow color overlay so just play around with it guys have fun now the only thing i want to change in here really i'm going to go to bevel and go this on maximum so i'm going to go 1000 percent so this is how the overlay looked before and if i change the depth of the bevel is going to go like this i really like this this is one of my favorite tools in photoshop really now press ok and it's already changed um, what i'm gonna do now f uh, is you remember the second rectangle we done on top of the first one now i'll show you now why i did that so i'm going to go to the first rectangle here layer right click on it and i'm going to rasterize layer then i'm going to pick up the eraser tool from the left if you want to change the eraser tool size you can do it up here i am going to leave it right now on 127 it's perfect for what we're doing right now i'm going to go in one of the corners and just click on it as you can see because i only have selected the rectangle one when i erased the second one stays there and that's exactly what i want because i would like to have a little border for my camera there I'm going to do exactly the same thing on all four corners. Try to make it as equal as possible, guys. Uh, it looks better. And I, I am going to erase here in the middle as well because I want to add my uh, logo in here. If you have a logo or you want to put your stream name in there, that would be a perfect place. Now, here in the middle, I don't want this um second rectangle so what i'm gonna do i'm going to layers right click on the second rectangle rasterize this as well and i'm going to erase that line from there now adding the logo it's easy just drag 
the file into your Photoshop. So I'm just going to drag and drop my file in here. I'm going to change the size of it just so it can fit perfectly in that gap we have in there. And I am going to change the color of it as well uh, because it doesn't really go the blue with the purple. So right click on the layer of your logo go to blending options go to color overlay and because I already had selected the purple you can see it's there so I'm just going to leave it on purple I'm and I'm going to do the exact same thing I did with the overlay I'm going to go to bevel maybe not on 1000 uh, it changes way too much the logo so this is the normal one and if I go up I'm gonna go to about 500 in there and I think it looks perfect now I'm going to deselect in here the background right click on any of the um, of the layers you have in here and go merge visible and then you have only one layer in there which is your rectangle and includes your logo as well now if you have if you want more more work um, you can bring the background back so you can see better what you're working with but I am going to leave it like this without it for now and what I'm gonna do I'm going to resize this to the size I want my camera in um, OBS to be so I think that that should do I think that's that's perfect for what I want now uh, guys if you want the the thickness of the lines higher you can always change that but again I like it very simple and I think I think it looks really cool now this is the camera overlay done already if you want to have a couple of boxes or for alerts for like a recent subscriber or a recent follower you're going to do exactly the same thing in here now i am going to go back to the rectangle tool and draw a rectangle underneath our camera I'm going to go and fill this up purple. The stroke doesn't need to be because I already filled it up. I'm not going to change the stroke or anything in here. I'm just going to drag this down underneath the logo. We're going to go to blending options again and do exactly the same thing what we did with the rest of it. So we go to bevel. I'm going to leave this on 500 depth in here press ok and that's done now I'm going to use this for a recent subscriber and I want one for a recent follower as well so what you can do is go down here to layers go to the rectangle 2 right click on it and duplicate layer press ok and just just drag and drop your second box in here now if you want you can change where you put this I like sometimes to have them up here I think it looks really cool but again for the purpose of this video I'm just going to leave it underneath the camera overlay make sure you align everything in here I think it needs to be a tiny bit longer there you go that's perfect so it goes on the line with the rest of the overlay now I am going to add a couple of um, images on here so we know which one is which and what I want to do is I'm going to drag and drop my image I'm going to use this for the followers or a recent follower so we know what the box is for 
I'm going to resize this and just drag it on top, maybe a tiny bit smaller. I'm going to drag this in here. You can always duplicate this and put it on the other side as well. I think it just looks better and I am going to add something for the subscriber box as well for the subscriber box I'm just going to use a star again I'm just gonna resize this it's a bit too big right now so I'm just gonna go make it a bit smaller and drag and drop it's still it's still a bit too big so try to fit everything in perfectly so I'm just gonna drag and drop that in there I'm gonna go back here on the right where the star is and I'm going to duplicate this layer as well just press ok and drag and drop the second star now it's not perfect you can see this um, I need to need to move this around a bit but you get the idea guys this is you already have a camera overlay and um, and your alert boxes in there too now what you will want to do when you save this file make sure you go down here on the right and make sure that your background is deselected yeah so deselect this go to file go to save as save into the computer choose the file you want to go to now save as type make sure for this you're going to choose a png give it a name i'm gonna call it youtube tutorial one and save now your overlay is ready to use in obs if you don't know how to use this i am going to show you in a few moments okay here we are in obs guys now all you need to do is go down here to sources add an image change the name if you want to I'm gonna just call it camera press ok choose the file you want which is going to be the file which is the which is saved um, so I'm going to YouTube tutorial one press open and ok and now your overlay is on OBS all you need to do is drag the camera into it resize it to the size you want fit the camera in perfectly into the overlay and you are ready to go perfect thank you everyone for watching if this video was any helpful for you please subscribe please drop a like and I will see you all very soon. Thank you.